Ladies and gentlemen, our judges have completed their placings in our yearling in milk class. Placing third in the class is entry 2997, Duckett Solomon Lita, exhibited by Mike and Julie Duckett of Rudolph, Wisconsin. Second is entry 2987, Pierstein Expander Royce, exhibited by Pierre Boulet and London Dairy Farms, Momonie, Quebec. And the winning entry, first bred and known and best daughter in class, 2985, Bud John Vale Solomon Apache, exhibited by Bud John Farms and Peter Inland Lynn Vale of Lomira, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Judge, your comments. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the second day of a wonderful Holstein show. Tremendous group of milk and yearlings here to start off our cow show. And what uh, Lynn and I anticipate will be an outstanding, outstanding show all day. Tremendous group, like I said. And with that being said, this first one, she blew us away when she came in. She's got a tremendous frame. A cow that's got a beautiful uphill run to her. She's so, she's so square all the way through. Tremendous rum cow. And then you get behind her, and that rear udder just blows you away. But she has the advantage the over the beautiful udder cow here that follows in second. On that frame, she's a little fuller in the crops today. She's a little more tighter in the point of elbow, but just more heifer all the way through. But the second one, what a tremendous udder cow in her own right. And for us, she's just got a little bit more width at the top of her rear udder. She's a little cleaner and flatter through the hock today than this beautiful cow that follows in third. The third one just has the advantage over the recently fresh cow here that just having so much more quality at her udder. She's especially about the four udder. But this fourth cow here, I think in four weeks, she lands into the second hole. Recently fresh a couple weeks, she's got a tremendous frame. She's so dairy, she's so open, yet she's still got so much quality and strength to go with it. And she just has the advantage over the cow following fifth on just on that overall frame. She's just so much more cow all the way through. But this fifth cow, certainly not a big cow, but she certainly is a quality cow. She's got a lot of balance, straightness of lines, and a cow that moves on an exceptional set of feet and legs. And for us today, she has the advantage over the big frame cow following in second, sixth, just on so much more bloom to the other today. More fullness at the top of the rear today, but this sixth cow, just a tremendous frame cow in her own right. Outstanding group of milk and yearlings here. Congratulations.